Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing, you've guessed it, another thrift haul because I just can't get enough of the thrift store. But truth be told, I haven't been to a thrift store in two weeks, which is a very long time for me because I typically go once a week, especially since I've gotten my car. I am usually driving to some thrift store. I really wasn't planning on thrift shopping today just because next Saturday, which is November 1st, Salvation Armies are doing a fall half off clothing sale. But it's, I don't know, I was in the area I was close to one and the thrift store was literally calling my name like, Ashley, come see me. And I'm happy I did go because I found a bunch of stuff. Well, the last, last trip I did, I didn't do a haul. I only bought, because I only had bought three things. And it's just like when I've been going, I haven't been finding like a bulk of stuff to do a haul. So this time I was really excited that I found a bunch of stuff that I liked. It was actually one of those trips where I had a bunch of stuff in my buggy. And then I had to go through and decide like which ones I was going to get. Because I didn't want to overspend at the thrift store. Because I can tend to do that. So I kind of budgeted myself. I spent... $35. Well, my total ended up being like 34 and some change. So I did pretty good. Because in the fact that I usually, if I if it's like a really, really great day and I find a bunch of stuff, I will spend like 50 plus dollars. But anyways, yeah. So that explains why I have no makeup on today. I put these glasses on to try to make myself look somewhat put together. But it was just pretty much a, just a, you know, a fun day. I went to the movies and went thrifting. So yeah. Let's see what I got in this bag. I got some pretty good stuff. I'm just gonna like dig in with the order. I pull out stuff. I haven't, I just got back so I haven't washed anything yet. So I'm like, let me come do this haul so I can clean this stuff and style them. So first thing I have is this really cool white shirt. It's very long. I don't think you can see the details, so let me get up close so you can see them. Hmm. You can't see them. There's like ribbing and then there's like these, this weird shape in them. But anyways, it's very loose fitting and it is a size small. But I thought it could be, be like a cool little shift dress or I can belt it and wear it with like some tights. I had held it up to me and I actually have black leggings and my mom said that it looked really cool with black leggings. So I probably do this, belt it with my black leggings and maybe some cute brown boots or something like that. So this one I paid $3.99 and it's by Marilyn Brooks Boutique. So I don't know, maybe it's vintage, I don't know. But I like it, I really like it and I like how thick it is. Okay, so next thing I got was this sweater. I'm all about sweaters in the winter when I go to the thrift store, just because they're cheaper than buying them at like department stores. Oh man. So I'm mad because I just realized it has a hole in it. It's right here on the shoulder. Right here. I may do the other side and try to make it look like it has that like worn look because it actually doesn't look bad. I could probably do it to the other side, but there's like a run in it. So I'm gonna try to like make the other side have a run or maybe throughout the sweater and like distress it. Because I really love the colors and not one to buy colors a lot and typically really boring. Aside from today I have this purple shirt on, but it's like my lounging shirt. But yeah, so I like this. It has this really pretty ruffle detail and it has a belt, which I'm going to like get rid of the belt and cut the little loop thing off because I just wanted to be really nice, you know, loose fitting cardigan. So the thing with this, with the size, as I've always, I've already mentioned in previous videos, I don't really necessarily look at sizes. I can care less about a size because if I try it on and it fits and it looks nice and if I can work with it. I'm going to get it regardless of the size. But it's only at thrift stores. I don't tend to do that at other stores. This is an extra large. And I'm really, I'm guessing that the person who had this maybe put it in the dryer and shrunk it because there's no way this is extra large. It fits me good. It's a little loose. To me, it fits me more so like a small or a medium wood because I typically get extra small tops when I buy them brand new. So yeah, so I got this and this was a green tag and green tags were half off at Salvation Army today. So I paid $2 for it, which is great. Next thing I got is a dress. I've been wanting a sort of skater-like dress for like the last week because seeing one of the girls at work wore one, I was like, oh, it's really cute. I don't have anything like that, but I wanted something solid. We have them. At, we have them at my job, but they were like $39.99, and I didn't want to pay that much because I don't know once I put it on or if it's something that I will go to a lot or if it's something one of those pieces that I would like wear once and then be over it because I tend to do that a lot with 
stuff, especially when I see other people wear it. So anyways, I got this really cool blue, navy blue skater dress. I love the color, and I really wanted something dark. If not black, some kind of dark color like this, or maybe a maroon or dark green. I wanted a dark color for the winter. Great with tights, boots. Um, I was even thinking of maybe putting a, like, putting a vest, like a shorts and a vest or jacket over top. So I thought that would be fun for like layering. And this is actually by H&M. It's one of their basic dresses. And it was $3.99 in size small. So I'm hoping that it fits or maybe I may wash it and try to shrink it by drying it because I typically need an extra small from H&M. But that's neither here or there. Next piece I got. I was excited when I found it. And then I seen the size and I'm like, dang, that's like so, 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 that's too big for me. But again, I'm going to try to make this work. It won't be the look that it would have been had it been like my actual size. But it's just this really cool sweater and it's actually by the brand Free People. It's really big. I like the color. It's a nice color for me. And it's just really pretty. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I could get away with like wearing it off the shoulders with like a wide strap tank top underneath. So yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to see if I could maybe go to Forever or H&M and see if I can find like a wide strap cami really close to this color so that it looks like it's supposed to be like that. So, yeah. If I can get the look, I don't know if the look will be, if the look will work with these kind of sleeves. They have like the elastic, but hey, free people, I don't own anything free, from free people because they're rather expensive and I rarely splurge on stuff that expensive. So yeah, so this was $3.99 and you can't beat it. So I'm gonna try it. And if not, I'll probably give it away. But I really wanna be able to wear it. So I, I may wear it, I'm gonna wear it at least once. I'm gonna style it, so. Yeah, so that's that. Next is a sweater. It was with my mom, she found this really, really nice dark, um, like open knit cardigan shirt sleeve sweater. So nice. I'm going to steal it out of her closet and wear it soon because I loved it and it's something that I'll probably take out of her closet a lot. But anyways, I because she had found that, I wanted to find me a nice solid gray cardigan. Hers is dark gray. So I came across this light gray one from The Gap. And it's my perfect size. It's extra small, which I can really find stuff that's my actual size at the thrift store. I usually have to go up. So yeah, it's really nice and it has this like openings on the sides like this like these slits on both sides and then it like kind of has draping in the front so something great that I can throw on with like a graphic tee or whatnot or even like a flannel because I'm like been really big on flannels this this fall it was $4.99 I think it was worth it it's from the gap and if it's nice and it's nice and long it's a great jegging sweater another thing I got I'm trying to get some color in my life I got this really cool shirt and it's by Banana Republic. It looks like this. I love the like the little frillies at the bottom. And it's really cute. I love it. And um I like the color. Kind of similar to the one I have on. A little toned down, so I love that. And I was thinking of wearing this maybe like some boyfriend jeans or something like that. So yeah, and this is extra small, so it's my perfect size. Yay me. And I paid $6.99 for it, which was kind of like, ah, oh, I don't, didn't want to spend that much. But it has B on there, and usually right, they put B for brand new, but the tags are gone, so maybe someone snatched the tags off. I'm still going to wash it, regardless. But yeah, I really like it. My thing I got was this vest. And yes, it's just far from me. I actually got this for my daughter, and it's by the brand 77 Kids, which actually... Um, American Eagle's old kids line when they had a line so has fringe it's actually pretty cute it's a little big for her because it's a medium she's a small but it had like a really nice oversized fit so I was thinking about putting this on her with like a denim shirt and some black skinnies and her boots and she'll be good to go nice thing I got was this really oh wait how much is that I didn't tell you the price that I um it was 199 so next thing I got with it was this skirt. I actually found this like hanging in the kids section, but it has to be an adult size. It fits me. I don't know the brand. There's no tag in it. Whew. My sinus is act up, especially when I go to a thrift store. Well, they cut the tags out. A lot of people cut the tags out. Like, no one, who cares what size it is? They always cut the tags off. But it's this really cool sweater skirt. 
and it's a really pretty like olive green color. So I was thinking about, I like, it's a really great length. I was thinking about rocking this like a denim shirt and some black tights and maybe some boots. Like, I got these really cool chalky brown boots uh, like this. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I can do that together. I think that'd be cute. So I got it, it was 99 cents. Okay, one more thing. I don't know the correct term in term for this for this piece. I you know it's called something. I think it's something Mexican. I could be wrong or the Spanish. I could be wrong, so please don't get offended by me saying that. But it's really cool. Jacket sort of thing. And it doesn't say on the tag. It was made in Mexico. It's like made out of like a blanket material. If you know the correct term for this, please tell me below. It is actually absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. When I first went in the thrift store, I found one like this, but it was like light colors. And I was like, I don't know, I may get it, but this is more my sweet because it's more dark. So I like it and it has this fun hood. So I thought that'd be cool just to throw on and take my kid to school because I tend to like have yoga or leggings on when I'm taking her to school. So just a nice piece to throw on. And nice and warm, it feels like it's warm. It feels really, really warm. So, let's see what the material is. It. It is. Oh, it's acrylic and polyester. Not the too fancy, but hey, I like it. And it was $4.99. It's a size large, but I think I can get away with it being loose and baggy. It's really fun. So again, if you know what this is called, like link. I'll leave a comment below because I really want to know. So that is it. That's my third haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um. I do want to style these pieces. I don't know if it's going to be at the end of this video or I may just make it another video altogether. But even regardless, regardless, I'm going to do a styling video on those pieces. So look forward to that. If it's not right after this, 